Corporate Sustainability over at the Community Climate Collaborative. And can you remind our viewers of exactly what that means, your responsibilities are at C3? Sure, yeah, I have a fancy title that basically means uh, I work with local businesses and make sure that climate, energy, or conservation is all kind of part of their their consciousness and their operations. So you guys just wrapped up an energy efficiency grant program. I know we've had several of the recipients on our news at four over, over yeah. the course of the last few months or so. Uh, tell us a little bit about the program and the results you guys achieved. Sure, so we work with businesses in a number of ways, sort of depending on you know, what they're capable of and the bandwidth they have. We have our Green Business Alliance and we ask a lot of them, they're larger employers in town, but uh, these grant recipients, you know, they tend to be small single owner businesses and basically we just wanna give back. So uh, we link up with them, they applied at the beginning of this year and uh, basically kind of do an energy walkthrough of their, their office or their restaurant or their facility, sort of find what they need, what's gonna, you know, impact their energy bills and save them some money and then we get them upgrades, we give away money and, uh, and we get them cooking. And some of these upgrades, they're, they're not necessarily expensive and complicated. No, uh, so we gave away, I've got some numbers to throw at you if you're ready. Sure. We gave away $20,000 this year. So I think that was over four times the last time we ran this program. We awarded to 12 small minority and businesses. We had restaurants, we had hair salons, we had uh, boutique, we had beauty supply. Um, we gave away over 100 light fixtures, so new LED bulbs, not expensive, but it adds up, sure. right? Thermostats, appliances, uh, heat pump, we got a, a new heat pump for Style and Beyond. The cool thing to me is that all of these are quality of life upgrades too, so like, you know, who likes fl fluorescent lights, right? So you get the old stuff out, you get the new stuff in, it really improves their space, the customer experience, and then the kicker, uh, through these awards, we're estimating about $5,000 in energy saving costs, and that all goes back to these businesses. So they get the award, and then the savings pay for themselves Just keeps on giving. Year, year over year. It's really cool. I'm going to guess it takes a group effort to pull something like this off. So um, there are partners that are helping out yeah. with this? Yeah. So first we had to find the money. So uh, we had an anonymous foundation step up. Thank you. You know who you are. Um, we had the, the city of Charlottesville, county of Albemarle pitch in as well. And then you really need partners to get the word out. So we worked with Community Investment Collaborative. They have such great connections in small business community here and uh, Seville Chamber of Commerce. They really helped us find applicants and that whole team sort of made this, this special program happen this year. Something you plan on doing again in the future? In a word, yes. <laughs> uh, it was probably the best thing I did this year. Uh, giving away something feels really good, but getting to know these business owners, I mean, they're all special. We've got a blog up on our website, theclimatecollaborative.org, so you can see a rundown of all our recipients. You know, you know, go go frequent their business and and show them some love. But it's such a great group, and it was it was the highlight of my year. All right, continued good work and success for you and the businesses. Thank you very much. Thank you, Casey.